Okay, the boxing world. Welcome to Strictly Boxing with Derek Poppy Rolon. All right, man, here we go again, man. Here with this Ryan Garcia mess, man. They talking a whole lot of uh, uh, racist comments and everybody talking about, you know, you know, he called you the nigger word, but he, he didn't even say the nigger. He said niggers. He said something to the fact that I hate niggers. And, uh, uh, was really uh, a problem with a lot of people because he says something about Joy Floyd. You know, he was alive, bring him back to life to kill him again or something like that. I think that was a horrible statement for Ryan Garcia to make. And I think that Ryan Garcia, you know, uh, I don't think this has anything to do with his mental condition or his substance abuse or uh, whatever his condition was, probably what he thinks and what he feels. And he probably felt that way a long time ago. And I'm going to tell you something about this statement. I mean, they, you know, one thing, some people respect Ryan a little bit more. I mean, because of the fact that he actually let it be known. There's a whole lot of people that, uh, that we deal with all throughout everyday life and feel the same way. And they do what they got to do to get along. Uh, I know that the WBC said they didn't want to, uh, they didn't want to uh, <clears throat> have any fight sanction that Ryan Garcia is in. I mean, because of his personal feelings. Now, you guys may not like the way I feel about this because, I mean, we get so emotional about, oh, he don't like black niggers or he don't this. And, I mean, okay, that's what it is. He has the right to feel that way. I hate to tell you all. I mean, I learned this lesson, man, at 17 years old. One of my first jobs I've ever had. I worked at a company in Clark, New Jersey. It was a, the company that made law books. A company that made law books. Uh, and uh, I, was, I got promoted real quickly within the first month or so. They promoted me from the uh, bindery area to the, to the print room. And so I was working right across from this white guy, old white guy named Bob. And uh, Bob was, uh, you know, he seemed to be a real cool dude. The old white guy, had a lot of tattoos on him and stuff. But, you know, we worked every day, cross side by side by each other. You know, he was, sometimes I get coffee for him. Sometimes he'll get coffee for me. Sometimes, you know, you know, we got so close. I thought we were so close as that. One day, you know, you know I don't know, uh, I bring in some, 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 I came from a family that we always had big, large Sunday dinners. So, um, you know, some days I bring leftovers. When your Bob, I got something for you. Oh, good. He likes soul food. So, you know, I share with my man Bob during break time. Yeah. This was a very valuable lesson that I had learned because one Friday, Bob had told me he was a wasp. I mean, I didn't know what a wasp was. I, mean, I thought maybe he was talking about his motorcycle gangs or something because of all the tattoos he had on. You know, so that weekend, mom making a whole lot of sweet potato pies. And I said, yo, mom, mom, making me a sweet potato pie for my man, my friend Bob. You know, he's a wasp. Mommy said, oh, he called you. He told you he was a wasp. I said, yeah, mommy, don't so what's a wasp. She know the wasp is a nah, no. Nah. She says the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, they, they, they don't like black people. So, you know, I, I, I didn't really know too much about it, but that Monday afternoon, you know, come and break time, yo, Bob, man, I got the pie for you, man, you get the coffees. So I'm sharing with my mother's sweet potato pie with him. I said, yo, Bob, man, didn't you tell me you was a wasp? He said, yeah. I said, yo, Bob, my mommy told me black people, uh, wasps don't like black people. He said, yeah, yeah, you're right. I said, well, I'm black. He said, I know. I said, but, but you like me, right? He said, no. He said, listen, we got to work together side by side, 40 hours a week. Make the best of it while we're here. Now, now as 17 years old, you, 17 years old, you can be kind of a little immature and think that uh, uh, I'm supposed to beat him up because he don't like black people. Well, I'm supposed to lose my job. I tell my mother that, that, that afternoon, that evening, my mother was like, he's one of your good ones. He's letting you know how he feel. Probably felt that you was getting too close. 
He wanted you to know where he stood. And my mother said, you know what? He's 100% right. You got to work together side by side. You don't have to like each other. All you got to do is respect each other and work together. Hey, I don't got a problem with Ryan Garcia's uh, statements. Look, if that's how you feel, you what you, 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 hey, that's how you feel. I mean, you know, WBC, I mean, business is business. When does feelings have anything to do with uh, work or business? Your feelings ain't involved with how you feel. You like somebody, or I don't gotta like you to work with you. We don't gotta like each other to make business, to do business. Business is business. I do it how I feel about you and liking you. Now I know a lot of people don't 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 don't, don't agree with me, but I like to hear your comments about it. I mean, we can talk about it. It was a lesson that old man Bob taught me. Old man Bob said, "We gotta work together, side by side every day. We make the best of it while we're here." Now, I never bought up no more of my mama food. But every now and then, he'll buy me coffee and I'll buy him coffee. Where does it say in anything in life that I got to like you to work with you and do business with you and get along with you and respect you? Uh, I think Ryan Garcia might be one of the best of them to let you know up front how he feel. And it could be, you know, his condition that makes him such an upfront, straight person. But okay, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But that don't mean we can't do business. That don't mean we can't work together. That don't mean that I'm not entitled to my feelings about what I think and feel. And you know, if you don't like me, you don't like me. Now what's that? Man, this dirt pot roll on that strictly boxing. I would really, really love to see what you got to say about this topic. You no, know, you can hit the thumbs button, the thumbs up button if you like the video. If you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it if you subscribe. And but most importantly, please join the interview, join the discussion, and let's hear how you feel about Ryan Garcia's statements. Do you feel that he has the right to choose to like who he wanna like and not like what he don't like? Well, I mean, I don't know. I know it's a little different from what people think, uh, but uh, what we gotta like in this world. Now, what he said about uh, my man Floyd, very disrespectful. I mean, maybe somebody need to check him about that. Uh, you know, he gonna lose some fans or he gonna lose some followers. I don't know, maybe that'll come that way. But a man liking who he wanna like, that's his business, man, that's his prerogative, man. This is Dirk Pop Roland at Strictly Boxing. Peace.